Hi, my name's Helen. This is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. That's just a name for people who follow the Helen Mary Jo channel. Nothing sinister, nothing, no membership, no nothing. Just a quick explanation. Um, if you haven't, my hair looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Anyway, never mind. I've got all these fluffy bits. Still losing, still growing. I guess while it's still growing, it's not too much of a problem. Anyway, um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed and you watch the channel and you enjoy it, if you could subscribe, I'd be really grateful. I'm really hoping to get to 18,000 by Christmas, which is ridiculous, really. But, you know, no harm in asking, is there? Don't ask, don't get and all that. So um, thank you so much for all the lovely comments as usual. Um, thank you for the good wishes um, on the death of my uncle, uh, condolences. Um, the funeral went well, you know, as can be expected. And, uh, you know, I think when it's an elderly person, it's sad, it's not tragic because obviously they've had a, a good long life, but it doesn't stop it being sad. And it's really hard for the children of that person. I think it doesn't matter how old your parent is or anyone in your life that dies, actually. I remember when my dad died, and um, when I went back to work, the number of people that the first thing they said was, how old was he? And I actually really resented that comment because I felt that they were making a judgment on whether they thought he was old enough to die or not. Now, they probably weren't thinking that, and I've probably done the same thing to other people before, but don't let that be the first question, is my advice. And also, say something when i went back to work when people ignored it and my dad was only just 70 so that was young really um and you know he'd had a full life up until that point yes he had a lot of ailments but actually it was meningitis that killed him so you know um that that's a fact um but people who didn't at least say, I'm sorry for your loss. You don't have to say anything else, you know, because it was always bound to trigger me to cry. But when people ignored it, I felt that they weren't acknowledging what a hugely um, devastating that time was for, for me and my family. So I learned two things. Never say how old were they, especially not as your first question. And secondly say something and then thirdly don't make assumptions in a couple of cards I have and I, I had and I know people are well-meaning but when people said things like um, at least it wasn't painful I thought you didn't see what happened to my father so please don't make personal comments unless you know the facts so you know it was things I learned we all learn don't we as we go along um, but I don't think anyone knows what it feels like to lose a parent until you lose a parent. And so for my uncles, daughters, uh, my heart went out to them because, you know, it's so final, isn't it? Actually, death is so final. And But I take it as a lesson to try and get out there and enjoy life as much as you can because we never know. And it's very short, actually. So that's all a bit maudling. Bad way to start, really, <laughs> It's just, you know, I was just at a funeral. So, um, yeah, this is probably coming out a few days after that. But it all went as well as can be expected. Uh, the flowers look lovely on the coffin that I showed you in that short video. I was very pleased with how they turned out. And, uh, yeah, and mum did really well. I mean, you know, it's exhausting. She's 92. It's a lot in one day because even if you don't cry, it's emotional. And you're also seeing people that you haven't seen for a very long time. And so there's a freneticism about that. Um, anyway, I'll change the subject. I, oh, one other thing I need to mention is, um, you know, the saga of the blind that um, was was broken, basically broken when we opened it. Um, I did, I think when you complain about anything, it's how you complain that's really important. And um, I just did online chat with, with them, which I do prefer. And because I can touch type, I can actually type, you know, really quickly. So it's not a, a burden for me. It's not a problem. 
um and when she said you know we can't get anything out to you quickly and all the rest of it and i just i just literally typed a goodwill gesture question mark and she said come back to me once the um you've got the new blind and it's all sorted so i just did i just very quickly went back onto online chat and just said we talked about a goodwill gesture and of course they can see the previous conversations and it was there so it took about three minutes and i got a 10 pound voucher um which you know is better than poking the eye with a blunt stick so 10 pounds on a 34 pound item isn't a bad um compensation really is it although you know we did have to go in and pick the other one up so my mum is always like oh i don't know how you could be bothered and i said it took me less than five minutes if somebody said there's 10 pounds there but you've got to walk three minutes to get it would you not pick it up you know that's my motto and also they should pay for the inconvenience in my book so uh yeah because somebody said oh you know you should have got money off well i did effectively um so that's that um the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed this new necklace i wore this to my uncle's funeral um and it's another one of Meneer's. i've got a few nice pieces to show you this is in the new collection that i'm showing and there'll be more to come but this is just a kind of a modern take on a pearl necklace really and it sits nice and just in the right place for me, I think. I'm not sure this is probably about 18, maybe. Yeah, it's probably 18 inches. But anyway, it just sits there. As you know, I'm a size 18, I'm five foot six. And um, yeah, so I'll be showing you a few of Meneer's pieces too. And and two, I've got um, a two haul for you. So I've got some nice pieces that... Um, yeah, I, th I can't remember exactly what they are, they are, but I think I've got four or five dresses to show you. And uh, so I'll crack on with that. Before anyone asks, this is a really old dress slash tunic from M&S that I bought years ago. It's polyester, so it's like iron. I think I've worn it before, actually. I might have worn it on a live once. And I've got it on with the um, leggings that I got from the Roman Hall so um i'm in the front room again because rob is decorating the hallway and my grandson billy is here because he's got tonsillitis bless him so you might hear a few bangs and crashes but there's not a lot i can do about that i've got to see i might have to move that chair to get the distance to show you the full length of things and hope that nobody's walking by and gets an eyeful when i'm getting changed so anyway i'll crack on with the um two hall and um We'll see how we go. So I've changed the necklace for this um, Baroque pearl on a paperclip silver chain. And this is sterling silver. And you can see it looks like the chain is going through the pearl, but it sits quite nicely. You can have it shorter than this if you want to, but I've kept it longer. And I just kept on the double pearls that are also from Meneer. Um, I have got some Baroque pearls upstairs, but it's a bit difficult to get up there with the painting. But I think you've seen them before. Now, this was just £25, this dress from two. And uh, it's 100% polyester, but it, it, I know it sounds silly, but it doesn't feel like polyester. So it's a bonus, really, because it won't crease um, being polyester. It feels like viscose, and it's got this nice um, trim down the front, which is bugle beads and little kind of tiny little beads. So it's it's kind of quite understated. I put it on with the leggings, but you could, and boots. But you could wear this with um, tights. Where is it on me? Just above my knee, but with with black tights. Or you know, if you're shorter, it would be be just a perfect length. It's just below my my knees. Uh, just on my knees. I'm five foot six, but it's. It's a nice little dress, really, for £25. I'm impressed because it's kind of dressy without being too dressy. I hope you can see it OK. I know it's not as good in here, but, you know, I'm restricted as to where I can. I might actually, I might move the camera around for the next one. I'll see if I can get a better view across that way. Might be better. Um, but... I hope you can see well enough. It's plenty big enough. It's an 18 
but you know it's not tight at all it's got that um space on the back you know it's it's i think it's marvelous for 25 pounds looks quite classy i think quite expensive and it's just as i say it's kind of dressy without being over the top of course it's got the same detailing on the collar i think that's excellent for 25 pounds i'm very tempted but do i need it i don't know probably <laughs> so that's number one so this dress that i'm wearing is a tunic kept the leggings on with it it's uh, just on my knee this is amazing this is 22 pounds i mean i'm hoping they're still on the website i know they've just had a sale so it might be harder to come by but this is polyester but it's almost like a scuba fabric it's um quite stretchy it's got these cuffs not buttoned but you know a nice long sleeve and the waist kind of here got pockets it's got this little button here that you can have it just if you want it just as a little peephole but I quite like it open I've put on this new little fine chain from Meneer which I love for layering I think layering is really in at the moment and I think this is excuse my language I think this is bloody marvellous for the money 22 pounds Again, it's an 18, plenty of room. I think this would look nice with just black tights. It's not too long, it's not too short. It's probably a similar length to the last one, actually. I think I can get away with it with thick black tights. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's polyester, it's bound to be. Um, recycled or otherwise. Oh no, it's not actually, it's... Uh, viscose there you are it's viscose but i think because of the fabric it's not going to crease it's great isn't it i mean it's so flattering i think very smart very sophisticated very elegant 22 pounds marvelous i think that is that is one of the best value pieces i think i've ever tried on the fact that it's got pockets just elevates it in my humble opinion so that's number two look at this for a bit of fun look at this <laughs> i love it yeehaw this is um this is simply b this is denim it's a very stretchy denim and you could wear this as a jacket you could wear it open but i've only got the bra on underneath so i'm wearing it done up it's an 18 again this is simply b but i bought it at sainsbury's and I just think these are so much fun. I love all this. I think I'm a country girl at heart, you know. I should have been born in Nashville. And I've put it on. I know it's a bit of a juxtaposition. Oh, what have I done with it? Hang on. Oh. <laughs> I didn't put it on properly. So I've got the little pearl necklace. You know, the seed pearls like I had in white in the summer. Meneer's done them in grey as well. And then I had popped on this little enhancer, but I obviously hadn't fastened it properly. So there we are, that's fastened now. And these are lovely because you can wear these with any chain. So, and, and it's you can have it with the gold or the silver and it's got the Baroque pearl and the little seed pearl, which I think is gorgeous. Then I've got the Baroque pearl earrings too. And I thought I'd put the grey on because obviously this is grey. No pockets. Um quite short too short for me to wear as a dress but um you know i think i'd wear this most happily as a jacket you know with a vest top and maybe jeans and just a couple of buttons done up so that it's kind of open but not open i mean isn't it fun i mean i know i don't know what's wrong with me really but i do love a bit of fringing and all the rest of it oh so um yeah, sorry, my phone was just going then, but it's it's rung off. So, because um, it's funny, when I'm filming, if my phone rings, it doesn't ring. But I can just see that somebody's calling me. So anyway, yeah, like I say, 55. But if this is your thing, I think you'd love it. Um, the whole, the whole fringing thing. So much fun. 
It's just the sort of thing that I would have worn to the Elvis concert or if I was going to Nashville again. I just think it's lovely. I mean, I would wear it anyway. You know, it's not, it's not kind of just that, is it? But, you know, I just love this stuff. Right from a youngster, I used to watch the um, Grand Old Opry on the TV. And if anyone came in, I used to, well, I mean, there was no remotes then, was I? I must have had to run up and, and turn it off. I was embarrassed. But now I'm loud and proud country girl. It's become kind of in again, hasn't it? Everything comes around. Anyway, so that's a bit different, but I wanted to try it. So I thought I'd share with you all. Such fun. I just love it. Although 55 is, is a lot for fun. But um, if it's your cup of tea or, you know, you fancy it for a different kind of look for Christmas. Brilliant. So this dress is from a brand called Thought. And uh, I haven't got the price handy because it's not on the delivery note or on the label. And I, it's too awkward to get out. But I'll link it if I can, if it's still there. Um, it's... It's kind of a denim, but it's like a denim jersey. So it's a really soft denim with a little ribbed cuff. I've kept on the enhancer. Like I say, you can get this with the gold or the silver and just the little seed pearl necklace. But I do use um, the enhancers that I had before just on my own chains. Um, this is a nice length. It's It's quite long. But I think it's nice. It's got these seams all the way down. This is a really comfortable, easy dress. I mean, you could wear this in the spring, autumn. You know, you could wear it with white trainers. I hope you can see the length of it there. Um, yeah, so I think it's rather nice. I can't, like I say, I don't know the price. And that does, I don't know, why don't you? No, it must be everybody thinks about the price, don't they? Whether they want to buy something or not. But it's a very, very useful dress. I could see you wearing this a lot, actually, because in this country... Oh, I've just noticed the sleeve's quite unusual, isn't it, with this dropped shoulder. Um, and it's kind of almost pleated into the shoulder. That's quite unusual. It's got quite a nice lot of detail on here. So, yeah... Not bad at all. I would imagine that this is cotton and elastane. Again, it's an 18 if I didn't say that already. Cotton, bombol, elastane. Yeah, very, very easy dress to wear, I must say. Very, very comfortable. If you struggle with zips and buttons and things, this is just a pull-on job and, you know, you could dress this up nicely with scarves, a longer necklace, all sorts, really. So I think it's a very versatile piece indeed and I like it. Now, this is a two dress again. This is £25 and it is, it's a lovely pattern. I, lo I really love the pattern, like a geometric with a coffee colour and then the black with the kind of white edging but it does feel very very polyestery if that makes sense I know that's not a verb um I put it on with these lovely earrings from Meneer which I think are very pretty very delicate very easy to put on they just they just literally kind of go through your ear and then the long side just come you know I'll show you so just like that so there's no fastening so again if you struggle with you know, the butterflies and things. They're very, very easy to wear. I like the fabric. I like the design. I don't like the fabric. I like the prints, but I don't like the fabric. It's very clingy and um, it's very long. I mean, it's really long. It's a maxi. It's got a nice line to it. It's buttoned down to the waist and it's got this tight belt. We could put a tan leather belt on here or a black belt, I think would elevate it. But I just can't get away from the fabric. It just feels a bit too clingtastic for my liking, um, which is a shame. You know, I'd rather have paid another five pounds and, and got a better quality fabric. It really is, I mean, you can see, you know, every little 
lump and bump under there my bra the lot so yeah but you know not a bad haul is it really i'm i'm quite pleased with all of that i've got another two haul coming um which is more evening wear but the two website is certainly worth a look they do have some absolute um bargains on there and uh, so i'm just going to sit down and, and move the camera yeah i've still got the pumpkins and things out which i need to um I need to get rid of and uh, get ready. Oh, gosh, that baby hair is such a nuisance. Anyway, um, that's that's my haul for today, my two haul in my haul. And, um, well, it's not my haul, is it? <laughs> it's my two haul that should have been in my haul, but it's in my front room. So, anyway, I hope you all have a lovely um, day, whatever it is you're doing. Or you know, I usually put these out at 6pm, so a lovely week. So I'll see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.